What is up guys? My name is Clay Wong and we are back with another video. Today we've got a very quick R34. It is currently pouring rain. So come along with me. We're going to go jump inside and get started on this video. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Let's go. If you take a look outside, it is still pouring rain. So in the meantime, we're going to show you guys some beauty shots of this car whilst we wait for this rain to settle a little bit. Enjoy the beauty montage. So this is the top of Mount Cooper, we're 137 meters above sea level here and it's actually the highest point in metropolitan Melbourne. It is still pouring out here, we're gonna wait till it settles and then we're gonna go head out. Let's get started. So the owner has told me in order to activate all 400 kilowatts of power on this R34, we have to activate the boost controller. So normally it's just in safe mode as you can see here, turbo A, we've also got a kill switch here. To activate all of that power we need to hold the top two buttons as you can see here on this controller, hold it in and it's going to switch from turbo A to original and that unlocks 30 psi on this precision 6266 turbo. We're back on the road. Let's talk a little bit more about this crazy JDM icon. This R34 Skyline Coupe is a 1998 model and it's pushing out 403 kilowatts at just the rear wheels. This car was built by IPM Racing over in Canberra, Australia and it's been fully rebuilt from top to bottom. It's currently got a precision 6266 turbo, a huge turbo for this RB25 motor and it's got a plasma mad plenum, screamer pipe and Nismo exhaust. It sounds a treat when you're on song on this car. As well as that, it's got a Nismo cooler which looks so aggressive at the front. This car also has teen coilover so it's riding really well as you can see on this highway. It's super smooth and very compliant on the highway. In addition to that, it's riding on some Advan T7 wheels. You've got a really nice stance on this machine. I really like how this car sits and looks when you're driving it on the road. It is so iconic. From the back, you see those massive taillights, four of them. You hear the RB25 just spooling and then the screamer pipe just kicks in and you're literally gone. It's still really wet out here so we got to be very, very careful. Just a little bit of throttle and it's already losing it. This car is running on some 265 AR1 semi-slicks but in saying that, this car is such a comfortable car and when you're looking at it, it looks like such a stealthy vehicle. This car really has two personalities. You could drive it very sedately and very comfortably. It's a very easy car to drive. And as well as that, you could drive it very, very rapidly. But you don't need to be at full throttle to experience and demonstrate the full power of this vehicle. It's so much more engaging when you've got that bottom end power like this. 3,000 and this boost already. <laughs> this thing has so much power but in light of everything that's happening around the world right now I don't think people are looking as much for fast cars but they're looking for practical cars because of coronavirus so we're gonna go put that to the test right now we're gonna go head over to our local supermarket here Woolworths to see how practical of a daily driver this R34 can be. Right, everything's all locked up and ready to go. There's a lot of thefts around this area so we've got to be very very careful. I've got my banh mi because I actually haven't eaten lunch as well. This is from Master Roll Vietnam. I know I eat banh mi all the time in my videos. It's because I really love them. 
we're gonna see how good this thing tastes. So let's give it a shot. This is a roast pork bun meat. It's extra fatty. Look at that. Mm. Not bad. So I've had this in my car for about two hours now. So it's not the nicest thing to eat, but uh, it is what it is. So this is the pasta rack. As you can see, there's like nothing on the shelf. All you got left is some spaghetti from Coles. I mean, Woolworth Essentials. Let's have a look at the washing agents as well. Oh, they actually have so much left. So if you saw my recent vlog where I took the Forrester XT out, there was no washing agents at all at Costco. So they've definitely replenished washing agents. So that's no shortage. We need toilet paper. So we're going to look at the toilet paper section. I think it is aisle 12. Yep. Aisle 12 toilet roll. There's nothing. I think I'm going to have to use this as my toilet roll for the next few days. And that looks sick. Unfortunately, that was a complete disappointment, but I'll show you guys the trunk space of this R34. I'd say it's fair for a coupe. The weather is finally picking up again. We're going to continue the review, so let's go. Makes you want to smile every single time you're on it. Second gear. Woo! 400 kilowatts. Let's do a second gear pull again. Pray for me. It just wants a fish tail everywhere. That power is so so intense it comes on so strong i'm actually scared to go full throttle in this car however you can feel that the car is about to let go this car informs you through the steering wheel through the chassis it really communicates with the driver as of late these r34 skylines have gone up so much in value because they are quite a rare and collectible car you're looking at spending about 20 thousand Australian dollars they're going up all over the world so if you are in the market to get one go get your hands on one as soon as you can it's crazy to think that this skyline is based on one of the base model r34s and to have it pushing out this much power out of it it's ridiculous I had such an awesome time driving this r34 GTT with the 400 kilos it has honestly it's been crazy a huge thank you goes out to the owner Andrew for letting me drive your pride and joy it's been so much fun i'll leave this instagram handle in the description box below if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up in the comments below tell me what you like about this r34 skyline and as well as that consider subscribing because it really helps the channel go a long way and i will see you guys in the next video take care